turn your house into a dream home. It's easier than you think. Remodel, repair, and design your home and garden. This is New England Dream House. Welcome to New England Dream House. I'm Leslie Gatiss. And I'm Amanda Rossiter. First, this week's Dream House. A lot of hard work turned a beautiful tree-covered piece of land into an amazing property. Frog Meadow is located in the village of New Fane, Vermont. Here's a look at five of the ten elements we feel make it a dream house. Frog Meadow is a new house designed to have the feel of an old house. Partners Scott Heller and Dave King built it in 1996 on the New Fane, Vermont site where another house stood 170 years ago. I think this house is so special because of the way uh, it's sited and the fact that there was an old homestead here even though it had been gone for many years when we built. Um, we came here, I climbed a tree and looked at the view, we looked at where the old house was and it was just instant like this is it. The frogs that inspired the name of the house live in the pond on the property. There are also frogs in the kitchen and at various places on the 10 acres of developed land. Item 10 on our design list is the master bedroom. The master bedroom is actually one of our favorite rooms. When we designed the house, uh, we knew it was facing due south. And since it's always nice to wake up with lots of sunshine, uh, we placed the master bedroom in, a tip, in an atypical space, uh, the southeast corner of the house. So it's always sunny, it's always bright. There are generous 16-foot ceilings throughout the top floor. The interior window creates transparency, reinforcing the open feel of the house. House. The high ceilings also benefit the master bathroom. Item 9 on our design list. It features a jacuzzi tub with a view. Master bath is uh, another favorite spot because it has wonderful views going up the hill. Uh, neighbors have a big field that backs uh, on our backyard. Uh, you can sit in the large jacuzzi tub and either look out the window or look into the, uh, into the big mirror over the sink uh, and get a gorgeous view up the hill. The twin sinks are recessed into a wonderful Italian granite countertop. Going down the stairs, you reach item 8 on our design list, the living room. The living room is about uh, 14 by 28, 12 foot ceilings. Uh, we have uh, Vermont ash on the floor, and the uh, chimney and hearthstone came from the uh, old <coughs> foundation stones and the old hearthstone from the house. Uh, it's a large room, we like to entertain it. It's a room to relax in, especially in the place the owners call the napping nook. The entertainment center cabinet is made out of two butternut trees the owners had to cut down to clear the property. It houses DVDs the owners can watch on their full-size projection screen. Home. From the living room, you reach item 7 on our design list, the butler's pantry. It has granite countertops and shaker-style cherry cabinets. Not all of the doors cover actual cabinets. Some are false doors put in to create an unbroken line along the pantry. Rich ingredients make the roomy kitchen item number six on our design list. The granite on the spacious island comes from India. I've been here cooking with uh, probably 30 people in the room and they're not in my way. And I'm able to be part of the party that way, which is really nice. Owner Dave King used to be a professional chef, so extra care was given to the design. I just like to have a good space for working. You know, BTUs are very important to me, so we got a Viking stove. Uh, is important, you know, regular domestic uh, residential stoves, I don't feel, just don't put out and, and uh, you just can't cook as well. Stephen Hunnick, an artist best known for his dog portraits, designed the dining room table placed at the end of the kitchen. It's made from rare red birch that had been at the bottom of a lake for 200 years. The wood is so heavy, it's tough to pick up the carved chairs. Coming up on New England Dream House, we go outside to explore five outdoor elements that make this a New England Dream House. Okay, so why Frog Meadow, besides the fact that we saw the little critters? <laughs> Scott and Dave, it seems, needed a name for their house because they were hosting a Thanksgiving dinner and they wanted a title to use at the top of their menu. They figured they have frogs and they have a meadow, so the name stuck. Now friends send them decorative frogs from around the world. Perfect, right? I like it. It works. It's creative. 
That's right. The new house has the same footprint as the house that existed on the property 170 years ago. And that fireplace is designed to pull heat into the room instead of pull it out of the room so the owners can cook in it. And there's an arm that can be used to put a pot of baked beans inside. Pretty neat. Very nice. But first, our dream house. It is Frog Meadow Farm, a house recently built on the New Fane, Vermont site where another house stood 170 years ago. We already showed you five of the ten design elements that make it a dream house. There was the master bedroom with its high ceilings and hand-carved furniture. The master bathroom featured a jacuzzi tub and Italian granite countertop. The living room is very large. The fireplace was made with foundation stones from the original house. The butler's pantry seamlessly links the living room and kitchen with beautiful cherry cabinets. And an Indian granite topped island anchors the kitchen, which also features a one-of-a-kind wooden table and chairs. Our final five elements take us outside. Let's take a look. It rained the day we visited Frog Meadow in Newfane, Vermont. The water only served to add a layer of dew to 60 acres of ground that can only be described as pastoral. Owner Scott Heller says the setting makes the house special. What it warms up around here is that we have all the windows open uh, and it's just like the inside is the outside. The breeze runs through the house from room to room. Uh, the light from outdoors comes in, the sounds of the birds, the sounds of the weather. It's just a wonderful thing. It's like living in a big tree house. There's a secret way to leave the house, a tunnel. It is item five on our design list. Owner Dave King demonstrates. So since Scott and I both do a lot of mountain biking and stuff, we built this cool thing called the tunnel. And you open it up and you go in. And just like in The Wizard of Oz, when they open the door and everything goes from black and white to color, here's a cellar with a view. After mountain biking and skiing, there is a 650-gallon cedar freestanding hot tub, item number four on our design list. Electricity doesn't heat it, an aluminum wood stove does. The tub is a great, is a great place to relax, to have breakfast and coffee, uh, after a mountain bike ride, uh, it's nice. Uh, especially in the winter after a cross-country ski when you're really chilled, it's nice to jump in the hot tub. It might be snowing out, you're having a glass of wine, it's a really cool spot to see the gardens and hang out. Besides the 2,600 square foot house, there is also a 700 square foot barn on the property, item three on our design list. The bottom floor is a garage. The top floor has an enormous room used as everything from an in-law apartment to a study to a boardroom for meetings. Scott and Dave had some help designing the gardens, which are number two on our design list. A Dutch gardener named Edwin de Bruyne. He helped them create a master plan for the garden. We really wanted something that would be very low maintenance, uh, yet be good for year-round uh, use uh, and year-round enjoyment. Uh, in addition to having all kinds of perennials, all kinds of annuals, uh, we've got uh, fruit-bearing uh, plants all around the gardens in addition to the asparagus, raspberries, blueberries, uh, and strawberries. A 12,000 volt electric fence keeps the deer away, but other creatures are more than welcome in the gardens. The bees, there's a working hive and the honey it creates is delicious. The name for the property, Frog Meadow, comes from item number one on our design list, the pond. The pond wa was here when we bought the property. Uh, there were many trees on the property, but very thick. Um, we cleared all of that from here down to the pond and, and beyond a little bit. We scooped the pond out and then pretty much filled in. Uh, it's 12 feet deep. It's fed by a, it's a little brook that comes through. Um, and in, like the weather we've been having, where it's been in the 90s, it's a great place after a bike ride and you're all hot, you just go jump in and it's a great place to float around with the frogs. Two rocks were spaced apart so swimmers can use the pond as a lap pool. Scott and Dave refer to this as the gnome boardroom. From the house, it looks like you could sit there, but up close, you can see it's just too big. It's made from rocks and stumps found on the property. The raindrops can't dampen our enthusiasm for this New England dream house. <laughs> So pretty. The barn was built from scratch. The floor was made from trees that had to be cleared at the site. And that garden includes asparagus, strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. And the grounds also include a small apple orchard. <laughs> Thanks.
for watching New England Dream House today. We hope we gave you some good ideas. I'm Leslie Gatiss. And I'm Amanda Rossiter. Tune in next time for more tours and tips to help make your house a dream house.